Okay, hello and good evening. I am working late again. Um, I had a chance to work on this earlier, but I decided to take a nap instead. Apparently that's how I roll. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So um, this is my initial sort. You know, these are my semi-pre-cut items. Uh, you know, the things I've been working with for the last couple of days to, uh, you know, there are things that have caught my eye. So I've started fussy cutting out this, this lady's face. And I still have one of these tornadoes, so I was trying to figure out if I wanted to have her kind of blowing, the, making the tornado happen on the paper. So that's the thing I'm thinking about right now. Ginger? I'm doing no. the horizontal orientation. It's okay. And then doing like that. Um, just see what, you know, you'd have to line it up right. But I thought that might be a fun thing where she's blowing the tornado. Or I could put her like this and have it going like that. But, you know, I, then I don't get as much of it on the paper because there's a, a limit up to how far. Although I guess they wouldn't need the whole thing necessarily. Right there. I'm going to pause this for a sec, you guys. The dogs are about to come through here, and I think they're going to make quite the kerfluffle, so hold on. Okay, so, oh, and you can't even see it. I wasn't even looking. Hold on. i got to move some of this stuff aside. Move this up. So I could put her down like that and have her blowing the hurricane up, which I kind of like. But that I think that limits what I can do on the rest of the page. So I think I will go with it, this orientation if this is what I choose to do. And then we'll just push this out over here. Of course, we have to keep it in line with, you know, where her mouth would be. And I could even move it up, you know, so it's closer like that. But I think I, maybe let's see, kind of like that, what's going on right there. But let's see what other stuff we come up with. So I'm going to set this aside for a minute. I just don't have enough room. You know what? I'm going to pause you and get a little table to work with here. Hold the phone. So, I got the little table. So now let's just move this over to the side for a minute. And what I can do is actually just move these images over to the side so that I can keep the, the actual piece I'm working on right here in front. And I'm kind of showing you a different part of this every day. So it's not quite so boring and the same, same. So we've got a tornado going on. And I've got a hummingbird in here somewhere. Let's see. I might like to use that in there somewhere. We'll see. I'll tuck it there for right now. I don't know that that's where it's going to go, but... I do have a hummingbird in here. Here we go. And that might be good for... It's a very big hummingbird, but... I believe a hummingbird could be in a hurricane, right? So, I don't know that that's staying there, but we're just testing it out for now. Let's see. Uh-oh, I crinkled my glasses up got wet somehow. Okay. Let's see, tiny T-Rex, probably not so good. Still have my chopstick guy. Maybe I'm going to Pause this and fussy cut this out. I think this might be a thing that goes on here. Hold on. All right, so I have switched the orientation down again with it like that. I think maybe I do want the bird on there. The helmet guy didn't quite work out the way I thought he was going to, so I'll save that for something upcoming. Um, but I'm going to leave you paused while I work out what, what out of these images I think is right. I'm thinking maybe I want to put the world over here a little bit.
and like that. So, let's see. Like that. So I'm, I'm kind of getting there, but I'm going to, just for a little bit, I think, play around with this. And see what I come up with in the background. And just for some fun stuff up here, too. Like, I'm not sure. I'm just not getting there just yet. So I'm going to pause you, and I will be back when I have a slightly better idea of what I'm doing. All right. All right. So I'm back. We have deviated from the previous uh, pre-planned lady's face with the blowing tornado thing into completely different. Yes, different is a good word. Train of thought. And I was just flipping through some images. And I'm not going to lay it on you all at once because I don't, I don't think you can handle it. So I made this night sky. And I made it out of these paints. Look at those beautiful paints. And this sea sponge and wherever I put the white paint when I came back in the house. I think I might have left it on the sink. I'll have to go get it. So there's my super dark night sky. That I'm hoping will blend in with this. I still need to do the edges. But look at that. I can, can totally work with that. We don't even have to, it can float now, it can totally float. Not in the it kind of floating, but it can float. Okay, so then, this was a little tiny galaxy. It was square, and I made it not square. I'm going to put it down here. And then I have the rest of the planet Earth. So there's the rest of the planet Earth. So we kind of have to make it like... Well, I guess not. We'll just do whatever I feel like doing. I'm not even sure if I'm on screen. I'm not on screen with the bottom part of that. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't intentionally not showing you things. I have to move the camera when I film with the tablet and when I film with the, um, with the camera. So, then I thought I might put this guy on here. Might tuck his little feet in right there, right? Because we might need him. And <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you the look I got from Els when I floated this idea. Because it just came to me when I saw this picture of broccoli and cheese on a magazine. So now we have cheesy broccoli comet coming to get the earth. Go ahead, go ahead, laugh. Get your laughs in. This is a thing. We're having a cheesy broccoli comet attack. Impending doom. Just trying to determine how far down I, I want to put the cheesy broccoli comet. But uh, that's a thing. So I think that's going to be my collage. Al's is over there still saying about my cheesy broccoli ridiculousness. But I, I really think I want to put this piece of pumpkin pie in here for no reason. I just really like the piece of pumpkin pie tonight. I did have a hummingbird when it was going to be the lady with the tornado, but he doesn't go now. And I was putting the VR guy on there because I thought, well, hey, maybe I can pretend like this is the whole VR simulation. But I don't really, I, I can't find a place for him to go that doesn't seem even more ridiculous than everything else going on right now. So I think this is my collage, however ridiculous it is. I'm going to ink up some edges. I'm going to glue some stuff down. I have not totally decided on the on the crazy chopsticks guy yet because I kind of feel like he's facing the wrong way. But, but I could put him like up here. Or I could move this over. I could have the cheesy comet coming from the other direction. Right? I could totally cheesy comet. Then maybe that makes more sense. Right? What do you think? Cheesy comment on the other side? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, leave me out of the cheesy comment business. So, I think I want to move that over a little bit. I've got the cheesy comment coming down. 
And I don't know why there's pumpkin pie, but it's my universe, you know, so whatever ridiculous shenanigans I want is what's happening, right? In my tired, sleep-addled brain. I think this is the thing I want to happen. So I'm going to ink up all the edges. I'm going to glue some stuff down, and I will be back shortly. And we will look at words for this ridiculous, cheesy broccoli, cheesy broccoli world domination. I shall return. All right. So I got carried away with myself. Um, I finished it. Let me move. I've got tea and stuff over here. I'm afraid I'm going to push it right off the... So there's the whole thing. I think you can see the whole thing. <laughs> Got my chopsticks guy fighting the Kylet, the, the, the comet. There's a little galaxy over here. I don't know why there's pumpkin pie there, but I felt like it needed to be there. I've got uh, my cheesy broccoli comet. And I decided to go with fearless as my, because he's definitely fearless. Hanging out here on top of the comet, or on top of the earth. Defending us from the cheesy broccoli comet. It was just meant to be fun and silly and to just to have a little good time with this. Um, I will point out that I did this. It's upside down. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention. I put this one in upside down. But that's okay. Because you know what? It's just, this challenge is just for fun. I'm just having a good time with it. So um, this is a short video. And I skipped a lot of the stuff. On, not on intentionally. I just got a little carried away with myself but that background is painted on this is from a magazine obviously the cheesy broccoli comet is from a magazine this is from the um the one i did the other day that had the earth in it the one that folded down pumpkin pie is just awesome so there we go uh annihilation by cheesy broccoli comet <laughs> however you guys are spending your days and nights i hope it brings you great joy and happiness I will be online tomorrow at 11 a.m. That is the, oh, let's see, what day is it? That will be the 14th at 11 a.m. to work on my super big scrapbooky thing. Uh, we're going to be working on those cloth covers a little bit and see where we get with that. However you are spending your days and nights, I hope it brings you great joy and happiness. Each and every one of you deserves it. Until I see you in one of my lives or in a box somewhere, I wish you the happiest of crafting. Bye, 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 and the end.